Hello, and welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're playing the casting of Frank Stone. And we have just made our way back to the mill. say we cross. Stay away from Dad, right? I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. Oh, I was expecting skill checks. this the way? Oh no. What's over here though? But this seems to be the way he wants to go. Oh no. Uh, there's gotta be loot over here, right? <clears throat> run over here real quick. Oh, I wish I had a flashlight, my dudes. Um, can't climb it? Okay. I thought maybe there would be loot over here. I was wrong, though. <clears throat> No loot. No loot. It's okay. All right, Linda. Lead the way, girl. Okay. 
Oh my god. How are you not balanced right now? Oh, because I have to also push forward at the same time as balancing. That's fair. Okay. Mechanic learned. Oh, this board looks super fucking sturdy. Chris Gordon. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And grab. I kind of do want to let her fall off just because I don't particularly care for her. She tells me I must not doubt what I dream of. I think we did miss one though. Because that's five out of twelve, and I think we missed number four. That's okay. Whoop. 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 It's fine. Sometimes you gotta break some ankles. and say death it's a great child it's fine nothing to be concerned about I hope he lives. I really hope he lives. We must be on the mail by now. This way, fellow traveler. Beware the misspelled night watchman. Little wreath. The specter that stalks the fog. Little wreathy boy. What is that? The craziest looking thermos you've ever seen.
Or is it door? Where's he going? He's going that way. We're gonna go over here real quick. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well, I think we found a way inside. Key to a casting shed. Hey y'all, I'm back. Sorry. As I was going to say, you didn't talk to me like a little kid. Or like my dad. You got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know he fucked up his shoulder that night. I mean, yeah. He got stabbed. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face, right here in the mill. The furnished chamber, actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that. All things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, he gets that look in his eye. I just don't want to see him like that. Oh, uh, yeah, he's probably traumatized. He's not disappointed. No. No. She probably is. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. See, these are the kinds of like side chambers where someone could definitely be watching your ass. I mean, it's the 80s. Everybody thought everything was haunted. Haunted by cigarettes and beige. Hello. It's 
spooky hole. See, I'd be a terrible person to go like ghost hunting with or whatever. Look, look where, look at what? It said look, what am I looking at? Uh, we'll never know. Um, yeah, I'd be a terrible person to go, like, ghost hunting with, because it was there for a second. Um, oh my god. Oh. A wrench. Because, um, as a I don't want to say skeptic. I feel like that's the wrong word. Uh, as a non-believer, I just wouldn't be able to take it seriously. I'd be like, we're just walking through an abandoned place. And don't get me wrong, urban exploration. I think this is it. Cool. Last chance to turn back. But, beyond that, Here we go, folks. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people. No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Yeah, I like Robert. I like him a lot. So far, he is probably my favorite character. His dad, Sam, is good, too. Um, Maddie isn't terrible. That's cool. Uh oh. And cut. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murder Mill. Way to go, everybody! <clears throat> Wow, Linda, come on now. Uh, listen, we still have one more scene. Shoot my scene. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. We're yeah. playing brother and sister. Come on. With our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where were you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. Yeah. Come on, let's shoot Linda's scene. Seems like a nervous individual. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe ghosts. You will. Get out the Gotcha. Not cool, buddy. Disagree. Not cool. She stole one of our shirts. What are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. Apparently not. I mean. Uh um. Bonnie, 
I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? A and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, 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 I mean, uh... <clears throat> she bought the camera. Let her hang out. I don't care if she tags along. Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. I feel like I am here, but like invisible. But you still know I'm here, and you're not gonna get up to any funny business, because that's just gross. Okay, don't, don't do it. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. God, she's such a bitch. I really don't like her. Ugh. Yeah, I was kind of like seeing this situation right here. Like, Robert, Linda. I mean, Linda did kind of like put him to the side, though, didn't she? Listen, we'll go over there in a second, but loot. I'm just gonna do a quick little jog about for some loot. You know how to be, Chad. Okay. Um, I wonder if we can find the casting shed. There was a prompt somewhere in there? Open? No entry staff on. I mean, you know, maybe they could have like a, a, a polycule, you know, like Linda, Robert, and Bob. You know, I'm, I'm okay with that. Be hot. I mean, or maybe they're just, you know, friends. <clears throat> and that's fine, too. Fair enough. Find a place to shoot. You know what would be a great place to shoot is on that middle platform where they've shown me that same little box like three times. Well, two times actually. How do we move the cart? Hmm. Listen, I'll be down there in a second, y'all. Ah. It needs a handle. <clears throat> I really want up there. Let me 
Mm. Needs a part. Let's look around for a part first. And then we'll talk to Chris. Um, I was in this room once before, and I'm pretty sure I saw the part I needed. Then. But I don't remember where it is now. Apart. Thank you. I'll be taking this. So is this going to be the fourth or the sixth piece? Because they technically showed it to me before I ever knew about the fifth piece. Blighted rat. Five names I've taken, but I feel a little closer to the path. Eight. I missed a whole bunch of pieces. Damn. It's fine. I mean, we're not here for a completionist playthrough. We're here for a good story. All right, Chris. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, me, Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speaks. Hi, May. Chris, all set? And action. There's something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost Mom and Dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save Mom and Dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. <laughs> and cut! <laughs> Just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Both of their acting. Did you hear that right at the end there? Uh, no, but okay, Ter we're gonna break the sound of high base anyway. How'd I do? Uh, you know what? She knew it was a piece of trash movie, so it was perfect. It was terrible, and the framing on I the camera was bad. Spot on. Gotta agree. 
Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the feast. Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of guys sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. Well, Barney, a genuine kind of moment. I gotta be honest. Why? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just laying out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but... Gee, I wonder who. Except he didn't. Fair, he didn't no one write said it. it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make anyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Rough. You know, uh, I don't really want to side with Bonnie. I'm gonna get some air. Uh, I'm just gonna go get some fresh air. You should probably go too. What, like, go, go? I don't think I want you here right now. I mean, it doesn't help that Jaime's girlfriend is a total bitch to everyone all the time, and that includes Bonnie. Like, maybe if they had just been more inclusive of a Bonnie, and maybe if Linda had stepped up and been like, hey, I wrote the scene, not so, him. This wasn't I based on you guys. I just wanted to tell you how much I left making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me, also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. Getting some B-roll. We should look for that place in the newspaper article, the machine shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. Okay. Holy... What can you see? Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting with I supposed to follow those up? Take us to the machine shop? Let's go 
and take a look. Frank is waking up. Dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. Not the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Then he's all adult. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, as long as I can remember. I didn't even know he was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's... It's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress and guilt or whatever, but... I swear he started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional? Like... Acupuncture? With all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Hmm. Um. Wow. That's what we're going to call. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh. And we'll be back next time uh, with some more of this.